Big Sam? Yeah. Big Sam? Look at the size of this guy. People think I'm a big guy at 230. And handsome. <laughs> <laughs> So as you guys saw then, I had a few roles with a couple of my students. You would notice, especially if you're rolling with someone who's uh, less experienced than you, good idea to let them have what they want. So you'll notice at the start of the roles, I sort of let them have the first movement. If they want to pull a guard or get a grips, I normally let them go, go along with them a little bit, and then fight from there. Because against other black belts, they're going to put me in those tough positions, so I need to know how to get out of them. So if you're like me today and you're just rolling with blue belts, purple belts, then let them get into you into a few things. Let them put you in a bit of trouble, let them have what they want. That'll help their game develop, but so too, for me, it helps my game develop. If I'm just smashing purple belts, brown belts, blue belts, there's nothing that will really add to my game. Refinement, maybe. But if I let them play a bit of their game, have to fight out of it, not use too much strength, then ultimately that'll yield the best for my jiu-jitsu. And that's what I want. And if that lets my students get better jiu-jitsu too, even better. So you see like, I'll roll and I'll continue rolling now. But ultimately guys, like, it's just playful. Just keeping it playful and having fun and not taking it so seriously that I'll get injured, they'll get injured, or either of us are gonna find it not enjoyable and not wanna come back and do it tomorrow, all right? So I'm gonna keep rolling now, guys. I had fun watching. <laughs> there, uh, it's a sneaky one where you don't wrap it and you just hold it. Yeah. And sometimes when the, the bone gets it, you're like, ah, oh, it gets it. Yeah, yeah. You know.
away. And we had um, that post when I had the inside last year, across last year, I was like, I've got your honor and I'm getting smashed. <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes when you're getting pinned, you give them a little bit of space, they get up and when you get your hands to the ground. I could feel you, like, you. I could see the space, uh, like you gave me a little. like try to let you take the lead and you do try to get somewhere sometimes just hold on and go yeah. you know you're always trying to get somewhere he's good thanks man oh, wow. yeah, I'm yeah. <sighs> big sam or matt can i get some rolling in whatever <laughs> I'm trying to pull this to kill out. This 
Is that for you? I saw them, I had a few rolls with a couple of my students. You would notice, that especially if you're rolling with someone who's uh, less experienced than you, good idea to let them have what they want. So you'll notice at the start of the rolls, I sort of let them have the first movement. If they want to pull a guard or get a grip, I normally let them go, go along with them a little bit, and then fight from there. Because against other black belts, they're going to put me in those tough positions, so I need to know how to get out of them. So if you're like me today and you're just rolling with blue belts, purple belts, then let them get into you into a few things. Let them put you in a bit of trouble, let them have what they want. That'll help their game develop, but so too. For me, it helps my game develop. If I'm just smashing purple belts, brown belts, blue belts, there's nothing that will really add to my game. Refinement, maybe. But if I let them play a bit of their game, have to fight out of it, not use too much strength, then ultimately that'll yield the best for my jiu-jitsu. And that's what I want. And if that lets my students get better jiu-jitsu too, even better. So you see like, I'll roll and I'll continue rolling now. But ultimately guys, like, it's just playful. 
just keeping it playful and having fun and not taking it so seriously that I'll get injured, they'll get injured, or either of us want to find it not enjoyable and not want to come back and do it tomorrow. Right? So I'm going to keep rolling now, guys. We had fun watching. Look at the size of this guy. People think I'm a big guy at 230. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
you know so spent a few rounds rolling I intend to take really breaks I'm going to do my geese up and stuff but just trying to go at an easy pace explore jiu-jitsu always working on a few things you know and like I said if you're with students who are maybe physically smaller than you or lower ranked let them have a bit of their own way have some fun play with it you know it'd be like as a dad myself if I'm having a running race against my kids well i got some long legs so it's gonna be hard for them to keep up you know what's fun let them have a head start sprint as fast as you can and then that's kind of like really fun too so anyhow i'll probably continue rolling guys but thanks for tuning in a bit of a different video this week but I have some awesome podcast episodes coming up for you guys i've got a great bunch of guys together for a podcast we're starting on everything combat related we have some special operations vets and amazing cool stuff for you guys so keep an eye out for that next week but i hope you had some fun seeing me wrestle some of my buddies in my pajamas have a good one guys awesome.